This is the facelifted Porsche 911 Turbo and Turbo S, built to bring the range stopping models in line with the rest of the 911 in lineup. The styling tweaks are subtle to say the least, but the revised models are distinguished by thin LED light strips in the front bumper. A new wheel design, the three-dimensional rear lights that are being rolled out across the Porsche range and a new engine cover with vertical slats. The cabin is largely unchanged, although a new 360mm GT steering wheel replaces the outgoing 380mm item and the latest, much improved Porsche communications management system has been introduced. A rotary switch on the steering wheel allows the driver to toggle through the car's various drive modes. Power is up. Fuel consumption is down and the performance figures are even more sensational than before. There are a handful of minor mechanical revisions beneath the skin, too. The launch event, based out of the spectacular Kyalami race circuit in South Africa, only afforded us very limited time with the new 911 Turbo S. We'll deliver a more detailed review once we've spent time with the car in the UK. Engine, transmission and 0 to 60 miles per hour time. The familiar 3.8-liter twin-turbocharged Boxer 6 remains, but modified inlet ports, new injection nozzles and higher fuel pressure, up from 140 bar to 200 bar, have helped to liberate an extra 20 bhp. Boost pressure has also risen by 